All right, today we're going to check out this Acoustic 204. This is from the 70s, probably early 70s, guitar cabinet. This is a 4x12. And uh, we're going to try and figure out exactly what the date code is uh, on each of the speakers and test the uh, resistance on it. So I do have these cool little tabs here on the top of the grill that you can get a little hook or something into and pop them out. They're held on by the last one I looked at was Velcro or some type of, yeah, it's, it's a type of plastic Velcro-like substance. That's these guys that are holding over the end. And look at all the bolts. These are some pretty old looking speakers, but we're going to have to pull them out to check the date codes. So let me go get some tools. So we're going to unscrew these. It actually looks like this speaker has been replaced. Uh, it does not look like the rest of them. It has a different center cone section. So we'll see what's up with this thing. All right, that is the right one. We get our trusty drill to make things go quicker. Take this mystery speaker out first. That didn't sound very good. Well, there she comes. So let's get all these washers. Oh, they're kind of stuck, so we'll leave the washers. And I'm going to get something to set the speaker on. Hopefully. Alright. Just going to carefully set her down. Ah, <laughs> This one is a PV speaker, so it definitely isn't the original one. Uh, okay. Well, we'll look up the code on that. I don't know how to read that. It does say 75, so that could be a good guess. Uh, that it's 75. We'll, uh, we'll look those up and figure out what they are. Uh, let's put this guy back in for a second. Looks like it's made out of plywood but it has a particle board in the back. And, uh, let's get the other one of the other ones out here and see what we've got. I'm just going to hang this one back up here because I don't have any wire. Set them down. Alright, so that one's cool. <laughs> Specs, they're supposed to be eminence, but uh, it says 67, that's the main code, and then uh, 7327, so that probably means 1973, 27th week. So that would date this cabinet at about 1973. So that's very cool. Uh, we'll get into this one next, this uh, 150. Alright, so we looked up this one so 67 is the code for eminence according to the ted weber site and uh so yeah 73 27th week for that speaker uh, and then we're going to go look up this one next so we'll pull this pv speaker back out let's see if we can see the, the codes so it is a 67 
and it's uh, from 75 so yeah this is an eminence as well uh, 1975 I can't really read that 30 something week so yeah they're all eminent speakers of about the same vintage and it looks like a similar model if not identical cool alright so the other problem this thing had actually works really good it sounds really nice but Somebody has messed with the jack, and some interesting speaker wire in there. I guess it'll work. Oh, so, oh no! I'm going to connect that back up. Great. <laughs> I'm going to connect that bottom one. Yep. All right, so the problem with this one is that you have to take the rear jack out from the inside. Hopefully, get a grip on it. Go. The other thing we need to do is make sure we put these speakers back the way they came out, so it's always good to put a little mark on them. Alright, so I'm just going to put a little black mark on the black. And let's go into the black lead here, just so we know how to put the speaker wire back. So we don't reverse the polarity, which would be not cool. So we got that out. build them like this anymore that's for sure. The speaker jack is kind of screwed in there. style speaker jacks that I can actually do something so what we can do let's get a little handy dandy rat tail file here if I have one and just very gently just want to scuff up the connection where the tip of the jack hits and we'll use a little, a little sandpaper rolled up in there to just kind of clean up the, the crud. There it is. Don't want to, just very gently, don't want to do a lot of damage or anything. Just trying to scuff it up so that when you put the speaker jack in there, or the quarter inch jack in there, it uh, makes good connection. Do that on my sleeve, and that should be really it. So I kind of took this thing out all apart for no reason. There we go. Let's put it all back together now. <laughs> I could have done that part without taking it. Wash 
instructions back on, the screw. Really just about feeling around trying to find the jack. In this case I have to take the bottom speaker out to fix it. Click of success. Okay. How's it going? You're doing great. Back to the black one. That side. This one there. together. Slide it back in. Should be functioning. Alright, we'll button it all up and give it a test. Maybe we should test it before we button it all up. Probably. That would probably be the wise way to do it, right? <laughs> let's test it before we spend all the time putting all the screws back together. All right, let's test it. Don't blow my ears out. This will blow your ears out because this is the Acoustic 150 guitar amp head. And it has got some power. Speakers. Metal guitar. We need another cable. All right. Plugged in with power. Do something cool. Do something cool. Do something cool. Nice. All right, so that about does it for our acoustic 204 speaker cabinet. Let me get the grill back in. So tight it doesn't even need the Velcro stuff. Uh, so 
we did a little research. I believe it's 4 ohm, 200 watt, 4 by 12 from the early 70s, 73. Uh, very cool, clear as a bell, and with this amp, it will probably blow the doors off the garage. So, thanks for watching.